Welcome to Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Karina. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Julia. Wow. Welcome to another episode of Karina Knows Too Much About One Thing and One Thing Only today. (gasps) It's a Yu Gi Oh episode? No. Oh, oh, it's Neopets. <laughs> it's a My Chemical Romance episode. <laughs> <laughs> is it Supernatural? Is it Panic at the Disco? Is it Grinch and Wunzler? Is it Cats? <laughs> Digimon. Yeah. Yay! We all have them. <laughs> Who needs them? <laughs> They're just, They're just like, like us. us. <laughs> in some ways, they are. <laughs> the people in the comments are so sick of us saying they're just like us. Every time we say it, they're like, wow, again? We're allowed to say it because you just spent a full minute roasting me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just part of the intro now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's our new intro. <laughs> they don't get sick of us saying welcome to Drawfee. It's the same. Yeah. It's welcome same. to Drawfee. They're just like us. Who needs, <laughs> Who needs them? them? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, hi. I'm, I'm hosting another Digimon episode because Jacob didn't have a second idea for today. So he asked me to prepare this at the last minute. <laughs> Call me out live on cam. This is the aggro Digimon episode. <laughs> Where we all just roast each other. Yeah. This is the roast of Drawfee slash Digimon episode. Yeah, so we're drawing more Digimon that y'all have never seen before. I've mm-hmm. picked out a few. I'll be showing you the pre-evolutions because the more I read into the description of these guys, the more unfair it is that I give you no pretense for some of these, these little critters. So... <laughs> You will see what it evolves from, but you okay. have to guess what it evolves into, knowing see. how Digimon evolution lines are. <laughs> of yes. And if you don't know, I made an excellent joke in the previous Digimon episode. I saw that it got a lot of views on TikTok, so check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Who's up first? It's me. Who's ready to see some nonsense? (laughs) I'm ready for the nonsense. Yay. So your Digimon, Nathan, is Omekamon, who evolves from Agumon X. Agumon X. Not to be confused with Agumon. Is the difference that it's got a glowing mouth? (laughs) No, it's got stripes. (laughs) This one is screaming. (laughs) <laughs> okay. No, this is a version of Agumon who's been infected with the X antibody. Duh. Of course. Oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and he evolves into Omekamon. Omekamon. Oh, yeah. Omekamon. Champion level, puppet type, data attribute. Puppet type. <laughs> I realize that a lot of them are puppet type, and I don't know what that means, what but that if mean? anything should be. Uh, classified as a puppet type, this guy do qualify. I can give you a brief little hint without giving away too much. Okay. It was born from the data of a certain computer's design drawing. It doesn't know who it is. So for now, it dresses as a different Digimon. What? So it dresses up like another Digimon. Yes. And is confused about its identity. Yes. And it's a mecha. That's fair. And, and it's, it's a o- mecha puppet. Omeka. Yeah. Omekamon is what I say every time I see the main <laughs> character of Big O. I'm like, oh, Mechamon. Wow, <laughs> wow she's, Julia she's with a big O reference. <laughs> yeah. <Mechs. laughs> Topical. <laughs> I know it's cool now. I like this. This does look like another Digimon. Yeah, it's because the regular Agumon evolves mm-hmm. into. Uh, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got it, Greymon. Ooh, yeah. you do got it. So maybe it's like a robot Greymon cosplayer yeah. is sort of what I'm imagining. I can give you a couple of its attacks. Okay. To add further. Mm-hmm. Context. Mm-hmm. One of its attacks is Omeka Kick. 
uh-huh. which is an unexpectedly powerful kick. <laughs> unexpectedly powerful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see it and you're like, I think I know how powerful that kick is. But then it hits you and you're like, whoa. Whoa. Right. Ow. It definitely looks like a guy <laughs> who couldn't kick you powerfully. And its other attack is paint rocket. What? Or graffiti p- rocket. It fires off its pen like a rocket, annoying other Digimon by staining their body. <laughs> so it has a pen? It's got a pen. This is this is one of them Nintendo Squid kids. <laughs> yeah, it's Splatoon. Is this what made Splatoon? Is this Splatoon? Is this Splatoon 3? Splatoon 3 Omecamon. <laughs> yeah. Is there just a straight up Mechamon? I be surprised if there wasn't honestly let's see mechamon no <laughs> <laughs> just omechamon yeah digimon is one of those things where i know so little about it that the fact that anyone knows anything about it and i'm like how i mean how does how does someone know so much about this thing that has no <laughs> rules seemingly just right like outback is so is so <laughs> like beyond my brain I've had no interaction with it other than every time we've mentioned it on this program. <laughs> every time I force you to learn something against your will. I've retained none of it is the thing. <laughs> this is a cool guy. You know, it's like a guy wearing a, a mech suit. Yeah. But he's also got to be a puppet, I guess, at some point. And an artist. And an yeah. artist. <laughs> He's got a pen. And he has powerful kicks. <laughs> and, and Maybe. Kicks. But it's unexpected. Yeah, unexpectedly powerful kicks. I'm very excited to see where you go with this because it looks alarmingly similar to a completely different Digimon. <laughs> Great. At least one. There's probably more. There's too many Digimon. I don't know that much about Digimon. <laughs> <laughs> you just know the most. <laughs> out of out of the four of us. Out of the four of us. And since we're the only people we talk to. Yeah. You that, know the that's most. It. Yes. This means we get to see a Nathan armor. I love a good Nathan armor. I mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Something about this Digimon is making Nathan struggle deeply. It's hard. It's hard to draw like a Digimon design. <laughs> he's got to have a, a paintbrush and kicky legs. He doesn't have a paintbrush. He has a pen. Right. A pen. A pen that do paint. That, that does yeah, paint. A paint pen. A paint pen. <laughs> he's got one of them paint pens. He has like a Posca marker. Yeah. He's an artist. <laughs> <laughs> he's an angry, misunderstood artist, just like Agumon X. <laughs> and a puppet. I don't know where I'm going to get puppet in this design. It's it's kind of useless for me to mention the puppet thing because I feel like it doesn't mean anything most of the time. I feel like puppet means it's it's like bipedal <laughs> more than anything. Okay, well we know we know kicks. <laughs> we know unexpectedly strong kicks. Yeah, I can't expect it. If I expect yeah. it, I'm going to make you redraw it. Okay, okay. I'm not going <laughs> to expect these kicks at all. <laughs> Maybe he's a puppet in the sense of like, we're all puppets, you know? Whoa. Yeah. I mean, like, we live yeah. in society. Strings of society is the big government pulling the strings, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Just make some art about it. <laughs> it's the Digimon government. Yeah. Has anyone ever talked about how we live in a society? I feel like no. I feel like that's something that is under discussed. Yeah, nobody, no, because people don't realize. Because get this, they're not people; they're sheeple. <gasps> oh my god! Wake up, America! That's like such clever wordplay. It's yeah. like sheep and people. Yeah, I just made that one up because I was thinking about how sheep just sort of like live in their pens, you oh know, and follow the leader. And uh. <laughs> did someone say pen? <laughs> pen his hand. Pen his hand. Pen his hand. Ooh, he's old school. <laughs> old school is yeah, new classic school. Classic pen. It's all cyclical, man. <laughs> Freaking Omecamons out here, just like there's something different about using a fountain pen. It channels the artwork of great writers. There's of the something past. about the permanence and knowing 
that you're not going to get a perfect work that really liberates you. <laughs> That's what Omekamon is saying right now. Yeah. Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> Use a fountain pen. <laughs> and, then, and then when you open your mouth to respond, he kicks you. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't expect it. <laughs> you didn't expect it. It hurts really bad. Yeah, you thought he was all talk. Surprise, he's an artist. <laughs> then he draws on you while you're down. <laughs> this guy's a jerk. I really like Pen Arm, though. Pen Arm yeah. is very good. Yeah. Okay, I have an idea. I'm so thrilled by this. Very <laughs> stupid idea. Yeah. We'll see if it works. Oh, I'm so ready, Nathan. My expectations are sky high. I've drawn and erased these <laughs> limbs so many times. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's well, called the art, pen- baby. The pen you wound up with is the pen arm to mitt arm you could have drawn. Uh, uh, pen arm to mitt? Uh, pen arm to mitt. <laughs> pen arm to mitt? Are you sure? Are you sure, Julia? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's sure. <laughs> it's pen arm to mitt. <laughs> wow. My Digimon heard that in a vault. <laughs> oh oh their hand feet oh god so you because the kicks are unexpected because you're thinking obviously they're going to come from the legs right <laughs> but the the arms are down here and that's the foot and this is the kick the that's kick disgusting the kick comes from here <laughs> that's that's genius no like one expects the ki- it's an unexpected kick. You got me there. It's going to be a really big cool kick, something like this. That is a big foot. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> you know what they say about big feet? Hurts when you get kicked. Big kicks. <laughs> big kicks, baby. <laughs> From what I know about shoes and sneakers, the bigger they are, the cooler they are. Yeah. Oh my god, that's Vialzamon's shoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there he is. My boyfriend. I feel the need to clarify that when I said earlier that my Digimon evolved, I have the Digimon watch audience, and I didn't just <laughs> say that apropos of nothing. <laughs> I wanted to let them think that you just had a real Digimon. <laughs> yeah, it's just really quiet. Yeah. <laughs> I just want that as like a phrase you're pushing for yourself. Just like, wow, that was so yeah. good. My Digimon evolved. That's the new <laughs> slang. Let's make yeah. it happen. Drawfee community. <laughs> Whenever something's like really sick, really tight, real good, just say your Digimon evolved. This meal is so flipping good that my Digimon evolved. Bruh. Bruh. I mean, we already <laughs> had the term blast mode. <laughs> it's like the new it really waters my crops it really evolved my digi I've never in my life said that really waters my crops but I I will now thank you Julia waters every my day crops. we ruin like the Drawfee vocabulary a little every bit every episode more. of Drawfee makes me feel like I am a 90 year old person who has just left the house for the first time in 70 years damn so you went inside when you were 20 and never came out I I do hate the hand feet okay (laughs) it's it's not a criticism I just felt like I needed to clarify no that's that's actually good because that's I was hoping I don't like them either so I'm glad we're <laughs> we're sort of on the same page. There. It was an unexpected choice. Yeah. Well, yeah. the The kick needs to be unexpected. So again, <laughs> you're, lo- you're watching the feet, but then you're like, "Wait a minute!" You you did the brief, but I do need to point out that aside from the hand feet and the shoe arm, mm-hmm. this is alarmingly similar to a different Agumon evolution. What's it called? I want to look up. Agumon Bond of Bravery. It's a new one. Excuse me? Agumon Bond of Bravery. Bond? Yes. James Bond. Of Bravery. Of Bravery. It's not one to one, but the top half, y- you get in there. <laughs> is, it bond wow. of, is it Bond of Courage? 
No. No, Bond of Bra- that's a different one. You heard what I said. There's a different one called Bond of Courage? Wow, there is. There's bravery and courage. Those are different bonds. Wait. No, they're the same. It's two names for the same thing. These are just going to be jorts. Yeah, that's just Digimon. <laughs> Both the jorts and the two names for the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> But since you did mention it, yes, I don't know which one I was referring to. <laughs> well, the one I'm looking at has, let me count real quick, 16 abs. Cool. Wow. Oh, I didn't give it enough abs. But that's yeah, okay. you should give it more abs. Right. Oh, you do have a lot of abs. It's yeah, got they, abs they go all the way up. <laughs> all the way up to right under the pet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think I think this is pretty good. I like him. Yeah, it's good. Maybe one metal wing just for posterity. <laughs> just in case. You can never go wrong. One metal wing and then like maybe a tail or something. Yeah, I feel like most <laughs> Digimon are like one object over design. <laughs> I am very fond of Omecamon's design. It's very cute. All right. This is this is my Omecamon. Yeah. This is This is going to be a nightmare and a half to render. This is like the Drawfy Digimon series. This is Omekamon D. Yeah. <laughs> but here's the original Omekamon. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rules. He's That's so, so good. That's adorable. Oh the Digimon God. he's trying to be is Omegamon, aka Omnimon. Oh. I love his pen. <laughs> You know, you did get the stripes on the arm to line up with the stripes on the pen. Yeah, I'm definitely going to color those rainbow. This is going to be a rainbow fun, <laughs> fun he, friend. He does have a marker, yeah. a marker hand. Yeah, this looks like so many different Agumons mixed together. <laughs> well, you said he was confused. Yeah. So. So you nailed it. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Yay. Yay. Good job, Nathan. Thank you. <laughs> Who's next? I'm going to step into the digital world now. Okay, Jacob. You ready for something that's definitely not a challenge? Y- yes. Your Digimon is To Hakaimon. Ooh. Ooh. Who evolves from Opossumon. Oh my God! Look at this mon. <laughs> oh, so cute! Wow. Yeah. I want those balloons. <laughs> yeah. So Chohakaimon, ultimate level puppet type, data attribute. Also a puppet type. Well, now also we know puppet <laughs> what puppet type means. No, we don't. We, <laughs> we don't. just have it, one example <laughs> of a puppet type. It was originally an angel species Digimon, but it committed a crime that incurred the wrath of Ophanimon and was banished from heaven. Whoa. <laughs> That's why it took on its current appearance. <laughs> what the heck? It was a possum <laughs> with balloons. Yeah, the uh, balloons <laughs> took it to heaven and then it yeah, was banished. It cats and cats. And then it did crime. That yeah. possum was jellical. Yeah, that possum <laughs> was the jellical choice and it went up, <laughs> and up, up. And it pole danced right back down. <laughs> Amazing. Oh God. Okay. Um, does it have like like moves? Yeah. Um, I need to explain that its weapon is called the rocket rake. It It is kind of what it sounds like, a little rake with rockets. Rocket rake? <laughs> yeah. So what its moves <laughs> include hard swung home run, where it swings its rocket rake just right <laughs> into its opponent, I guess. Okay, sure. <laughs> We got Strike, Strike, Strike Mints. It showers the opponent in a high-speed barrage using its rocket rake, crushing them appallingly flat. (laughs) Appallingly? That's what it says. Appallingly flat. Like like what happens to Newman in Space Jam. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. That's very appalling. Yeah, it's one of the most (laughs) appalling things that I've ever seen in a movie. (laughs) Can we flash it on screen right now? (laughs) Yeah, David. (laughs) Content warning. <laughs> Content warning. Flat Appalling. Newman. Appallingly flat. <laughs> Appallingly flat Newman. 
Okay. And its last move is Roast of the Pig. It embraces the opponent with its body, which has burst into flames from the fury of its hunger, roasting them well done. Oh, my what? God. Okay. <laughs> this little hell possum. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's kind of like the direction I think I'm going to take with this. Is that it's gonna be like a like a hell a hell possum? Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting vibes of like that sort of classic devil j- that's just like a guy in like a red onesie <laughs> with horns and like a little pitchfork. From this yeah, description, but, a, but yeah. a possum. It seems like very cartoony, you know, Looney Tunes esque <laughs> hell shenanigans. But rocket rake. <laughs> but rocket rake. Yeah, we got to remember Rocket Rake. Definitely wings on this one. Do we think all the balloons are there too, or did the balloons pop in the evolution? <laughs> I think the balloons popped, and that's what, when it went to hell. I yeah. see. <laughs> but do the do the spirits of the balloons live in hell? Were they evil balloons, or do the, the balloons get to stay in hell? The balloons, Nathan, they're inanimate objects. Balloons don't have spirits, Nathan. Don't be stupid don't about be this. Don't be stupid. I don't know. I mean, most <laughs> balloons, I tend to agree with you, but these are digital balloons with adorable faces. Nathan, you're <laughs> acting like an idiot right now. <laughs> the balloons are also alive. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, you're being insane. Everyone is furious with you. I act like an idiot all the time, so that's not different, what you've described. Usually you are perfectly intelligent, <laughs> but today, today, <laughs> today. Insanity. Wow. You've lost it. I've you're lost different. my mind. Yeah. I don't Who see, are you? Quarantine don't has see changed what's you. It's hard to comprehend about any of the things we're talking about today. I'm just, I mean, I'm just posturing. Possuming. That maybe positing, excuse me. <laughs> possuming. I'm possuming <laughs> that maybe the balloons have immortal souls. That's stupid. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you even here if you're gonna be saying things like that, Nathan? I just thought this was a, a, a forum to discuss, you know, no. controversial this discussion ideas. Is closed. This discussion this is closed. This discussion is closed. Discussion is closed. <laughs> Too and many we'll be this talking is what, about this after recording. This is what happens when <laughs> teachers are like, "There are no bad ideas," because there are bad ideas. Nathan yeah. just had Nathan one. Nathan just did, just proved just it. Just proved it that there wow. is a bad idea out there. <laughs> it's the worst idea. <laughs> I think you're okay, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I just, I just thought, you know, like, what if, what if though, Nathan. <laughs> I, if you keep this going, there's going to be consequences. <laughs> I can already imagine the tweets we're getting. People yeah. just, just furious. Unsubscribing from Drafi. I thought. In mass. I thought it was safe to watch this show without being exposed to such harmful views as what if balloon <laughs> what if don't, don't what if say balloon it again had, Do, oh my god don't he say just it keeps again. doubling down <laughs> he just keeps doubling down on it i'm just saying that's what i said <laughs> now i'm just saying that's what i said i sh- i shouldn't do that either is what is what yes. you're saying cuz it was stupid the first time <laughs> you're really showing your ass here nathan <laughs> <laughs> this has been our bit called we get really mad at nathan over something fake I hate it when mom and dad fight <laughs> i hope you all enjoyed the the bit uh nathan nathan was portrayed by nathan i was um, me <laughs> i was doing jacob in this one julia was did a flawless julia yeah oh. and karina was newman <laughs> regular, not flat. Not regular, flat. not flat. No. Uh, excuse me, I ordered a regular Newman. This is a flat Newman. I'm sorry. I'll get you a new one. Can we get that image back up on the screen again? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There it is. There just it a is. real, just a real upsetting episode mm. all around. <laughs> Appalling. Appallingly flat. Yeah. Uh, unlike Digimon, which is never upsetting. No. And never unexpected. Except for those kicks. Yeah, only those. Only the unexpected kicks. 
<laughs> I didn't I didn't comment much on the on the legs of the actual uh Omecamon <laughs> design, but yeah, yeah, they don't look like they do that strong of a kick. So that's They're unexpected because they're little Lego legs. They're just little, yeah. <laughs> little, little chonkers. <laughs> I love them. Like what are you gonna do with those? <laughs> Move them in like a perfect ninety degree angle. <laughs> <laughs> But then it hits you and you're like, ah, oh, oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Jacob, this little guy looks like the mascot of a novelty hot sauce. Oh, you're oh, so right. Hot yeah. sauce, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my God, rake it does, hot like sauce. A, a beer. Oh, that's where you're putting the rocket. Yeah, he really launches it Damn. into you. <laughs> yeah. Sort of launches it and himself. Yeah, and himself comes flying yeah. at you. This is um, cool. I love these I shapes. Like, yeah, what a critter. Yeah, I think this is a fun. I know this is wrong, but I think it's fun. It is. There's no way we would have gotten it right. It's Digimon. I just wanted to have some fun. This is a very tough one, but there were hints that you would not have gotten. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, appallingly flat was a was a big hit. <laughs> Instead, we just talked about Space Jam. <laughs> we just argued. <laughs> We argued about balloons so much we missed all the hints. <laughs> I gave you all the clues, Mr. Policeman, <laughs> Mr. Trophy Man, Mr. Trophy Man. Man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, such a little little guy. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. What a little scamp. This is a good design. I like it. And like this is always the the trick with doing drawfies is getting a a nice design that that works with a horizontal <laughs> canvas and you really did yeah. this is a great horizontal design. You utilized your space. Thank you. Is the clue in the name? Does yeah. the name the name mean something in The name is very literal, but I don't think you would get it. I didn't get it until I read it. <laughs> you don't get it till you read it. Yeah. You get it when you read it. This is a good guy. I love these legs. Yeah. yeah the shapes are great. Yeah. Thank the you. The shapes of the, the feet are very good. I think it would have like more going on, maybe like a, a big earring or two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. To bring it sort of into the Digimon. Yeah, it needs to be <laughs> more, because this is a very, I, I would say, elegant design, and it needs yeah. to be more cluttered with unnecessary yeah. bits and bobs. Digimon love accessories. I'm learning some things to bring into my design. Yeah. Cluttered, no uh, rules. Some stripes. Accessories. Accessorize. Asymmetrical. You hints. <laughs> Oftentimes asymmetrical Asymmetrical, designs. okay. And foreshadowing to. what's to come. Ooh. Julia in hers draws a flawless Pokemon. Yeah. <laughs> I draw the original Sveal. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. I love it. All right. I'm actually taking off the accessories because I just like the drawing. I do like just the little undies. So I'm going to I'm gonna leave it with one earring. Nice. Yeah. I like it like this. And then I want to see what it what the reality is of my situation. You want to see? You want to see the real Cho Hakaiman? The reality. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the hint is that the name is the quite literally just the name of the pig character from Journey to the West in Japanese. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. But fun fact. Yeah, this is not what I would have guessed. And there's just a, <laughs> Why a not? human lady inside. <laughs> yeah. That's closer to my design yeah. for the first one. Yeah, it kind of is. I did say the word pig at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I offered you that. I guess I was so determined to like iterate on the original design like a dumbass. <laughs> It, it was a poor choice because yeah. this is a Digimon challenge and you should know better, but I really yeah. like your design. <laughs> Seeing the undigivolved forms is a, is a trick. Yeah. It, it does, it, it That's why I insist on it, doing it. You know it helps. What not to draw. Yeah. You should include zero elements <laughs> from yeah. the unevolved form. Well, we'll slap a big I tried on this one. <laughs> yeah. We'll no, I like it. it. To, yeah, no, it's just a cool Julia. design you did. I appreciate that. Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> Me. Yay. 
Okay, okay. are you ready? Are you yeah. ready to apply all the things that you have learned today? Yeah, don't draw whatever I'm about to see. Okay. Accessorize asymmetry. Yeah, so your Digimon is Soulmon. Ooh. Ooh. Which, okay. according to this wiki, evolves from Bakemon. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a tooth ghost. It's a scary tooth ghost. I do the... like Bakemon. He's very cute. A full flesh mouth in <laughs> yeah. the air. Yeah. So fun. Okay, so I got to draw Soulmon. Yeah, so Soulmon is a champion level ghost type mm-hmm. virus attribute. Okay, oh. right. Digital. And I say virus. supposedly a evolution. Uh, it's kind of more of a lateral evolution because Bakemon's also a champion level. It was a Bakemon that took in data of mages that appear in fantasy stories. Oh, that okay. mage data. Do we think it looks like a Final Fantasy mage? <laughs> like a black mage, ghost. And some of its attacks include. Dark Claw okay. pulls the captured enemy all the way to hell. <laughs> what is with hell? All the way to hell? <laughs> wow, that's powerful. Wow. It's what got Castiel. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Can we slide that across the screen too? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. And a, and a flat Newman for yeah. good measure. Yeah, get a flat, flat Newman. Flat in Newman there. also going to hell. Yeah, <laughs> with Castiel. Where he belongs. Uh, we got Necromagic throws the souls of the dead at the enemy. That's messed up. <laughs> Finishing trance drops a huge skull on the enemy. Drops a huge dookie <laughs> on the battlefield. And then Ghost Chop. Attacks using small chops. Small chops. <laughs> From hell. From <laughs> hell. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got a claw. We know that. And it can chop. So definitely some hands at play. Yeah. It just feels like if one of your abilities can just straight up send your enemy to hell, what are you doing with small chops? <laughs> Maybe you don't always want to be sending your enemies to hell, you know? You you want to tease them. Yeah, it's a bit much. Got to tenderize them first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get them hell ready. Yeah. The hell drag is like for like when you're in season 15, like around episode 18. That's when you <laughs> drag to hell. But like, you know, before that, you do some small chopping and skull dropping. Small chopping sure. and skull dropping. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> oh, I ah. like this. This is such a mood already. Yeah. It's just like, oh no, what do you want? <laughs> I'll send you to hell. My claw goes straight there. <laughs> Doesn't even make any stops. Is hell in the digital world like different from It's the it's the trash bin. <laughs> Yeah, it's the recycling box. It's the recycling bucket. <laughs> There's a lot of levels of Digimon lore to the point that it's too confusing for me because each mm-hmm. anime series has its own lore per se, mm-hmm. but the Digimon world also has like a very extensive lore. Mm-hmm. And there's like references to Christian hell in Digimon but I don't know if hell is a physical place in the digital world. Is it just sort of like an amalgamation of all of the representations of hell that exist online? Yeah, sure. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we told an algorithm to watch 100 episodes of hell, and this is what it came up with. <laughs> <laughs> this is Digimon hell. <laughs> Ooh, we should do that. <laughs> Artists draw hell. <laughs> Artists draw hell. No balloons there. Nope. Don't even start, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Not the bit again. <laughs> you know, I feel like we joke often about like Pokemon should let us design the next Pokemon, but realistically, Digimon should let us design the next yeah. Pokemon because there's yeah. no stylistic rules. Yeah, whatsoever. there's no style sheet. So. Yeah. So we can't be wrong. It feels like anyone could design a Digimon, you know? (laughs) And maybe they have. I mean, in 
Tamers, at least. That's actually part of the plot, which I think is really cute. Is Tamers the name of a restaurant from your hometown? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a chain restaurant. She just dropped it. Yeah. Julia was calling back to a joke Karina made in an intro to an episode months ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remembered one thing that we've made. Where Skeeter and was a restaurant else. in her hometown. It was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. I retained no. a thing. Good callback, Julia. <laughs> Everyone clap. Everyone clap. But David, no. David, I want some clapping sound effects here. No, flat cheering. human only. Only oh, flat human clap. More intense cheering. Can we get a Castiel in here, please? <laughs> no, not that one. <laughs> the clapping sound you hear is just the sound of two flat Newmans being slapped against one another. <laughs> Oh, that really got me. <laughs> no, gross. No, Digimon Tavers is a Digimon <laughs> show. It's the best one, objectively. And the main character, his Digimon is actually one that he designed and it came to life. Whoa. And it's really cute. Digimon Tamers has Beelzemon in it. Yes. I know this because when Julia drew Beelzemon in Draga, the suggestion <laughs> specifically was draw Beelzemon from Digimon Tamers. Oh, yeah, because there's like four Beelzemon, so. Well, they wanted the one from, <laughs> from Tamers. Because he's the best one. Well, the one Julia drew is the best one. Second I, best. I drew Danny Trejo. You did draw Danny <laughs> Trejo. <laughs> Let Danny Trejo play Beelzemon. I'd be down. Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> Cowards. <laughs> <laughs> what are you afraid of? That it'll be too good? <laughs> He's a great actor. He always gives 100% every role. Spy Kids? He didn't phone it in. Oh, the axe is for Little Chops. Yeah. Little, little Chops. Is little, little Chops. Axe. I'm dumb. He's been dragging it in. Little axe, big claw. Yeah, it's like a. It's, it's he's more just got like stiletto nails on, but. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they'll send you to hell. So yeah, I will say that just as one last little hint, when I yeah. look at the picture of Solomon, the main thing that it screams to me is accessory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that that's all I'm gonna offer up. Like, it is an accessory or it has accessory? It has. Oh, I was about to draw him as an accessory. <laughs> so right, give him a little chain <laughs> he's hanging <laughs> off of. Yeah, he's just on a keychain. Put him on a ring. Like. <laughs> oh. If you I'd like it. it, then you put, better put it on a ring. Put yeah. it on a ring. <laughs> <laughs> Accessories. <laughs> Accessories. I'm just saying, it's it's really the the big thing about this design. Yeah, get some hats on the hats. <laughs> a hat ring. Wow. Oh, double hat. Double <laughs> hat. Double hat. I'm trying some things out, working on my look. Julia hears accessories and thinks top Many hat. hats. Many hats. <laughs> hat? More hat? More hat. <laughs> How many what hats? What accessories are there? Ooh, oh, it's got a hole for the, that's cute. Oh, that's really cute. That's like cute. The, wiz the wizard hat, he's got a wizard hat, he's got a yeah. magician oh, hat. Oh, that's where it pulls the souls of the dead from to throw out its enemies. Nice. The hat. One of its other normal rational moves. <laughs> Accessories, okay. Uh, he's got. <laughs> Some necklaces, it's good. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> he was so threatening and now he seems like he's trying so hard. <laughs> this is a this is a Doctor Who. It is. A Doctor Who what? Hey. hey. Get the applause back. Get that yeah. applause back. Get the Get Newmans back. Newmans. More Castiels. More Castiels. <laughs> um, okay. He's wearing He's wearing a tiny backpack. Oh! <laughs> it's my first day of school one in of those hell. Cute, one of those he cute, does like, does look backpacks. like a high school freshman. Oh! He's, he's got a cute little one. What other accessories can he have? Um, more rings. Sure. He's married. Okay. He's married to he's multiple super people. Super married. <laughs> yeah. Julia's so good at thinking of accessories. 
<laughs> yeah, my first reaction being hat. Yeah. Maybe some enamel pins. Y- your first reaction was a good reaction. Was it the correct reaction? He's going to have some patches. Okay. Let me let me toss this at you. Okay. It can only lead you so much. What about hat chain? <laughs> <laughs> it's chaining the two together. It's chaining the two together. Hat oh chain. So in case one flies off while he's throwing a giant skull at you. Yeah, it's a wallet chain for it hats. It doesn't fly too far. Oh yeah, does he have the giant skull on his person or does the skull just get materialized? I'll, I'll let you decide. It's in the backpack. It's in the backpack. <laughs> it is the backpack? In the backpack is the backpack. Wow. In the backpack is the backpack. <laughs> I just now we just get to watch Julia draw a cool skull at an angle. Yeah. Oh, that she's rules. showing off now. That huh? rules. That's very <laughs> good. Flexing your skull knowledge, huh? Julia knows how skulls are shaped and it's cool and fun to watch. I'm Julia. I seen a skull. I do like that it's a human skull. Yeah. What other what other skull would it be? A cat, cat ears. Yeah, it's a cat <laughs> boy skull. skull. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, they murdered a cat boy. <laughs> Dang, a giant cat boy. <laughs> yeah, giant cat boys used to roam the earth. Yeah, in prehistoric times. <laughs> we killed them all. <laughs> we killed them all. Damn you all! <laughs> They're roaming the digital world, also being killed. And sent to By this guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, he wouldn't have the ears. Instead, uh, he would man. have he would have like the holes for where the cat ears yeah. would go. I like the bone ears, but You like the bone ears? <laughs> you can't go wrong with a bone ear. Bone ears are pretty funny. Yeah, keep saying bone ears. Bone ears. Maybe the skull is just wearing like one of those cat ear headbands. Yeah. Also a possibility. Also an accessory. Yeah, another yeah, accessory. There we go. <laughs> Damn. It is a cat boy skull, and so in order to indicate that, they put the yeah the cat ears on it. Cat boy skulls actually look just like regular human skulls, so yeah. we can't be sure that cat boys didn't exist in ancient civilizations, because mm-hmm. when we dig up those remains, they just look like regular human remains. That's true. That's just, that's just facts. <laughs> Prove me wrong, science. Yeah. What have I done? I love it. This is an incredible drawing. It's really good. It's so middle school. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> oh, no band? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you did that bad. Aw, oh, Solon. <laughs> he's a little confused, but he's got the spirit. He couldn't do the Stussy quite right, but he tried. <laughs> is that not the right Stussy? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's, it's close. pretty close. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's perfect. <laughs> a stussy patch. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is him. It's perfect. Yeah. I think I this is him. him too. It's Solmon. This is who he wants to be. So are you ready to see the original? Yes, please. Yeah. Don't get mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So when you said accessory, you meant one accessory. Yeah. That rules. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Julia, why aren't you saying anything? <laughs> I knew three rules. <laughs> Accessories, asymmetry, and don't draw whatever you show us. Oh, my God. And I have been lied to. Yeah. Surprise. The big lie. <laughs> Just put a hat, a hat that's like rendered in a different art style than the un- the original. That's so yeah, good. Yeah, it's like someone photo mashed two clip art pieces. Digimon's good. I've yeah. decided. This is yeah. my new favorite Digimon yeah, for sure. That's- Yay! That's so fucking good. Oh my god. Just put on I'm a sorry hat. I tricked you, Julia. How Can dare. we get some flat Newmans and some Castiels and put hats on them? Yeah, but make it sad, though, for Julia. Yeah. Yeah, fade it to black and white. Like a procession. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh.
Nothing we Despair. drew on this episode was ever going to be funnier than that reveal. Yeah, yeah. That's true. That was it. I got you. Wow. Thank wow. you for letting me do another Digimon episode. I'm so glad that you did. It was perfect. Uh, well... Your instinct was correct, Julia. When Karina said accessory, the very first thing you did was put a hat on top of the thing you had already drawn. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I that's why I said you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Nailed it. Got it in one. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go think on some things now. Yeah. That's fair. Let's put a hat on this episode. By saying that- thanks for watching. If you like what we do, you can subscribe. And hit yeah. the bell, and you'll get notified anytime we post a new episode. And then you can watch it, and then you'll you'll be happy because you like the show that we make. And if you want to support us directly, ooh, guess what? You can. We got us a Patreon. There's yeah. a link in the description, and also at the end of this video, we got rewards tiers on there. So you know, you get to know that yeah. you're supporting us, and also you get a little fun extras like uh, bonus streams and. Uh, merch discounts and and, uh, Discord access, among other things. You know, you can look it up on the Patreon to see what all the different tiers are. Um, And we got a store where we sell (laughs) uh, shirts and and stuff, pins. Your support really makes my Digimon Digivolve. Your support really makes Karina's Digimon Digivolve. Patreon. 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 Check out our Patreon. <laughs> Bye. We're sorry. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs>